When Apple first introduced the Apple Watch, I thought to myself, why would I ever need one of those? But since then, I have now had three of them, beginning with... Introducing Apple Watch Series 3, and it has cellular built in. And I loved it. I had the cellular service attached to it. So I'm sure like many of you, I forgot my cell phone from time to time. I was still able to make phone calls, get my emails, texts. Of course, when I purchased the Series 3, the Series 4 had already come out, so it had one less feature than the 4, which was the ability to take your own EKGs. So I had to wait till I got the Series 6 before I was able to do that. And in the meantime, I had purchased all these different watch bands for different uh, clothing styles, and it proved a very reliable watch. And now we come to the Apple Watch Series 6, my favorite of my three watches so far. This watch had every feature that I wanted and needed. It was like the workhorse of my watches. I really enjoyed using it, uh, but over the years the battery started losing less and less ability to maintain the charge. So I ended up having to trade it in and get my new Apple 9 Series watch. But I will always be fond of that Apple Watch Series 6 uh, with the cellular. I could get my emails, my text. I really miss that watch. It was very reliable. And of course, it had the ECGs. And now we come to my Apple Watch Series 9 that I purchased back in January of 2024. And yes, it's that same Apple Watch Series 9 that is caught up in the Apple lawsuit right now. And these are going to be harder and harder to get a hold of, but I managed to snag one. As you can see here, the cool thing about this watch, by snapping your fingers, you can set a timer, answer a phone call, set the TV channel, and take a family or group photograph, all by snapping your fingers using your Apple 9 series. But how is it spooky? We'll see. Now here, we are comparing the Apple Watch Series 6 versus the Apple Watch Series 9. One of the external differences that you can possibly see here is that the 9 is 45 millimeter screen size versus 44 millimeter screen size on the Apple Series 6. Other than the exterior differences, uh, to me at least, the Series 9 does the same functions as the Series 6, just now they have a new battery in there, that's all. Spooky how? So I'm working on my Mac Studio and I'm typing on the keyboard, when all of a sudden I feel my Apple Watch start to vibrate. I look down at it and the next thing I know, I'm seeing all kinds of apps opening and closing on their own. I then see that it locks me out of my watch and then tries to keep breaking back in using different combinations all on its own. And if that's not bad enough, I hear this uh, small siren type sound. And the next thing I know, my watch is calling 911. Before I know it, I'm on the phone with the dispatcher. I'm telling the police fire dispatcher, I didn't call. It's my Apple watch. It's acting goofy. I had never seen anything like this before. Luckily, the dispatcher didn't seem phased by it, so we disconnected the call. I went back to working on this, and I'm trying desperately to stop this thing, and it kept trying to call 911. Finally, I was able to do a forced restart on it. It reset temporarily, but then it locked me out of my watch. I could not get back in for five minutes. Finally, when the five minutes was up, I was able to get in, do a uh, firmware update, and so far the watch seems to be working. If you've had a similar experience, please list those in the comments below. Until then, I don't know if this was just a glitch or something paranormal. <laughs>